Hey guys, Jeremy here. I'm out here on another episode with Exploring Chester County History. I'm also filming for Reading Buzz on Facebook and Instagram. Out here today with my buddy Ralph Bentram, who you'll see in the video with me. Uh, it's taking me out here showing me the Clara mine. So stay tuned for another exciting mining adventure. Definitely an open pit. They're small diggings compared to a lot of them. I'm sure that was all, they had a branch hydraulic line coming in here. All right. Okay, there's my buddy Ralph Bentram up ahead. Coming into this open pit. Eventually, I will turn off my camera to get it up there. Now, I don't know if it crosses diagonal and matches up any of those pits or any of those other digs. All right, this uh, plugged at it. Part of the Clara mine. Still got all of that to go through. It is. Let's see, I'm going to skirt around here. Came up from that pit here. I hiked up all this. And now here's... Looking into the shaft, you can see that it is plugged. But it drops down, what, probably 15, 20 feet? Yeah. This is hard rock mining, you guys. It's a low claim. Came up all that way. There is a road that comes in through here. Power lines over there and another open pit okay just all uh, surface scratch all surface scratch Ralph was saying no open shaft, nothing on this area. So if you notice over there, it extends far around. Yeah. Wow. Try to get around the vegetation here, you guys. It's kind of blocking our paths. The Clara mine is supposed to have an adit that is 700 feet in it's the main haulage tunnel to the clara mine but the early reports don't say anything about these open pits or shafts on the property which is interesting
quite possibly another shaft of the Clara Gold Mine, but it is plugged. And I'm glad I'm not down in there because look at all that poison oak. Three leaves, let it be. You know, leave it alone. Fenced off all the way around the shaft. 